Maurice Broomfield, industrial sublime at the V and A deeply impressive. Here's a topical problem in Maurice Broomfield's photographs. He was a leading photographer during the 50s and 60s, sought after for depictions of Britain's then thriving industries. He made work for the companies themselves, on spec for newspapers like the FT, and also for himself, to exhibit his art. Among much smaller entities, he worked for Shell and Ford. Much of his work was used to advertise the companies and tell a story of Britain's industrial prowess after the Second World War. One photograph in this fascinating show symbolizes the shift from how his images might have been received then and their significance today. Commissioned in 1967 by the Gas Council, it features a North Sea oil rig. In the foreground is a shadowy figure, standing before an expanse of sea, lit only by the flare on the rig, which looms on the horizon like the Statue of Liberty holding aloft her torch. In 1967, it must have been regarded as a majestic image of British energy. Now, amid COP26, with evidence of the ruinous activities and policies of fossil fuel companies, it's apocalyptic. Broomfield's images are dated not so much by the clothing of the people in them, as so often, but by the attitudes and values they frequently represent. But these are still deeply impressive photographs. Broomfield would go to great lengths to achieve them, closing down production lines, repainting factories and shooting at night, so that he could use dramatic artificial lighting. Guiding lights were Joseph Wright of Derby, the sublime painter of the early years of the Industrial Revolution, and the modernist Bauhaus in Germany. And Wright's romantic idea of industrial and scientific revelation pours from images like tapping a furnace with another shadowy figure lit by molten metal, made in the Ford plant in Dagenham, and in taper roller bearing, with a worker captured amid a vast, immaculately shiny bearing at the factory of British Timken, an automotive company. North Sea Rig, Gas Council 1967 sponsored It's Another Paradox. Broomfield, father of the celebrated documentarian Nick Broomfield, had an admirable respect for the workers, apparently being in awe of their skill, the people in his photographs are her was to the extent that some of his compositions wouldn't be out of place in Soviet propaganda. But he ignored the appalling conditions in which they were forced to work and, as he put it, used industry like a stage, no doubt to the delight of his commissioners. They can be magnificent shots of the lights and glass at the Phillips factory in Eindhoven, the spinners at British Nylon in Pontypool, and a mill at the British Paper Corporation in Kent, are particular highlights, even if there's often a sting in the tail. Alongside the Broomfield show is known and strange, a gathering of the V and A's new photographic acquisitions, which does a good job at illustrating the breadth of recent photography. It ranges from a marvelous group of beautiful skies and a troubled figure in a wheelchair by Paul Graham, like a snapshot of shifting memory to recent experiments with photograms and cameraless photography by Tom Lovelace and Clee McKenna, and four marvelous portraits by Zanel Muholi. V and A, to November 6, 2022, vam.ac.uk. UK. 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 UK.